before further proceeding i will show here something that for example i am selecting this watershed then you can see here this watershed is completed from uh, this side okay up to uh, this extent and also it's completed from this side okay but you can see here it's uh, incomplete from this side okay uh, uh, as you see here uh, this is the boundary line of that watershed and we have some other watershed also here similarly we have also some watershed okay uh, some uh, other sub basins also we have some other sub basins but but beyond this uh, line we do not have some other base uh, sub basins uh, it means that this uh, area of watershed uh, is incomplete and uh, what you need to do uh, for this purpose you have to repeat this process and to need to download uh, two three tiles uh, more okay uh, which then which then will cover uh, that area okay so now proceed to the delineation of watershed at some specific point okay now uh, for some specific point it means that you are delineating a watershed at any bridge at, at any uh, dam or at any uh, choice of uh, outlet okay and you must have coordinates of that watershed okay uh, you can also see here these uh, uh, if i move the cursor here these coordinates changes and now these are in the north easting and you can also change this from uh, uh, different uh, you can say uh, frame properties and here you can say it's for example i click here meters is it was in meters and i have changed it okay while not uh, uh, recording the video so i am baking it to meters okay so now it's in meters so you must know about the coordinates of your choice of interest okay so what we will do now we will make the uh, for example here i will write For this purpose, what you will need to do to make chic. So what we need here, we need to do uh, to uh, make shape while of specific point coordinates. Okay, we need to do uh, if we want to delineate a watershed specific point, we need to do to make shape while of that specific coordinates okay and you must have your you your coordinates okay uh, in my case i have coordinates and i will delineate a watershed somewhere uh, here okay so uh, you can also get coordinates from uh, google maps uh, or uh, google earth okay uh, so how we will create a shape file first of all i save this project okay and i you already know that we have named this project as demo okay now i will uh, close this project to create shape file of my points okay so uh, for creating shape file of your points what you need to do first of all you need to do to open uh, microsoft excel okay and here you can see the x the longitude and the latitude x represents longitude and y represents uh, latitude and uh, i have put it here in the decimal uh, degrees okay you can see here i have put it in decimal degrees the coordinates uh, i have given it the id as an uh, outlet as an id and uh, latitude uh, and longitude x and y okay and i have saved it in the name of outlet one thing uh, is uh, more i will add here uh, sometimes uh, if you are using a uh, higher version of your microsoft excel then uh, what problems occurs that gis does not uh, consider or uh, take that uh, higher version so for this purpose what you need to do uh, you have to save your uh, microsoft excel or these coordinates in a lower version okay 
uh, means uh, Excel 29397 to 2003 Excel workbook. Okay, so this uh, step is necessary if your uh, GIS document is not supported by the uh, the version of ArcGIS you are using. Okay, so what you will need to do? You have to save uh, the higher version of uh, Excel document to a lower version of the excel document by uh, this method okay we will also check that ours is supported or not okay so i will uh, you, you, you see here you you can save this coordinates uh, using this uh, this uh, uh, format okay so i close here now i will open the arcgis And our project was demo, but uh, here we are only converting our Excel file to shape file. So we will cancel here it. Okay. And now, uh, what we will do uh, here, you can see, you can see here add data button. Okay. Uh, after add data button, we will go to the desktop okay and we know that we have downloaded the or saved the outlet uh, excel file here okay uh, on the desktop it was saved on the desktop so edit and now you can see here it's sheet one sheet two and sheet three in the excel document uh, i will show here it is the outlet document now uh, it's open in RGIS, so it's cannot open here. So our data was saved in the sheet one. Sometimes if you are using higher version that these shades does not appear. And for this purpose, you have to save it in lower version, then it will appear. Okay. Click add and now here it is open and now click on here the data. Or you can see here the display expiry data or data export. Display x y data x field is x y field is y and our coordinate system. You can see here this is unknown coordinate system. You will give here only the uh, geographic coordinate system. Okay, world WJS nineteen eighty four. Okay, and do not give the projected coordinate system. So here this is the our point. Now if we will. Uh, click on this and export data to make it into shape file. Here you can see this is the Excel sheet or the point data coordinates. Okay, and you can see it's in decimal degrees. And you can see here uh, if we click on this, then it shows our coordinates. Okay, now mm, go to the uh, click on this and click on the right click and click button and click on the export data convert this to the uh, shape file okay you can see here this is the shape file dot shp and change its location okay our location will be uh, demo desktop and demo okay here you can see this is the demo folder okay i'm clicking on the demo folder and here i will save it as an outlet shape outlet dot shp shp means shape file you can see here the extension is shape file okay save it okay do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer i will say here for example yes or no it's up to you but you can see here you remove these lines before one and you can see here this is now outlet and now this is our shape file okay okay you can see now we have prepared a shape file of our uh, outlet or you can say a point of interest